It's the internet. You're busy. Let us do this. It is Snake Pass for the Nintendo Switch. I believe it's out on a few other systems, a few other platforms. Uh, I'm playing it on the Switch, though. Um, it, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. Turns out, I'm, I, I guess I, I wasn't really paying attention uh, to what this game was before this point. But now that I play it, it's basically a, a snake platformer where you control a snake and you have to get his, like, slithering body up and around obstacles to collect orbs and stuff. I like that a lot. It's a, it's a really interesting idea. So, like, here's just an example. This is, like, the one of the very early stages. I, I press the right trigger to go forward, and then I use the analog stick to control my direction. And if I do this back and forth motion, I can pick up speed. I can go faster. But to get up here, I'll have to hit A to lift up my head. And then if I hit the right trigger again to start slithering my body around, I can basically bring myself around here and grab that orb. Uh, it's actually it's a quite it's quite a satisfying like thing to be doing. Like it's uh, you wouldn't think controlling a snake would be fun, but I'm I'm having a good time. And you can see like I've wrapped myself around here. Now if I hit the the left trigger, I can like basically grip things. Uh oh, I'm kind of screwed up though. There we go. Um, I, it's, I like this game a lot. It's very neat. It's different. It, it's got its own, uh, play style, while also looking pretty decent. It, it's, it's an Unreal Engine game on the Switch, which, uh, Switch, which, you wouldn't think would, would necessarily look great, and it, it does, but it also doesn't. I think you've made, maybe you could see, um, I could definitely see that it's got sort of a, um, lower resolution look. Like, everything's got a bit of a jagged edges around the sides. There's a little, some aliasing. And I'm not sure what that's about, if that's a... Um, just a factor of the way I'm playing it. I'm, I'm capturing it right now on my computer. Maybe that's, maybe I'm just seeing extra ones. But when I play it in, in handheld mode, I definitely notice some jagged edges. Uh, lots of them. It almost looks like... And I, I, I mean, don't take this, like as gospel, because I don't know if this is exactly the truth, but it almost looks like it's running in 540p on in handheld mode. Just looks very re low resolution. Um, now, it's still artistically and colorfully and, you know, uh, all that stuff, like, looks looks wonderful still. It's just not um, a technical powerhouse in terms of what it ends up looking like on the Switch, at least. Now, is that bothering me? It's, it's really not. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm still having a ton of fun with the game. I, I really like the the basic idea of the gameplay where you are, you know, just taking the snake around these levels and looking for basic obstacles. So, let's see here. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of, like, empty spaces for orbs uh, in the middle. Up top, there's, like, three stones, magic stones, that you have to get on each level. And I think that's how you beat the levels. And on the bottom there, there are five coins, and those coins are, are hard to get. I've died a couple times after trying to get certain coins. And I'll show you how that happens, because I'm sure I'll die again. And that's actually pretty frustrating, because you have to start the whole level over unless you get a, um, a checkpoint. These checkpoints are hard to come by. Like, well, there's one right there. Cool, so now, now we'll be good for, for a little bit. So I'm going to try to... Try to beat this level on my first go, but we'll see. Um, in terms of the checkpoint, I, I think you can keep going back to it over and over again. So you like you don't necessarily have to fail. But here, let's uh, okay. Well, you know what? Let's try it out. And actually, I need to. I, I wonder. It's not saving this option for me. All right. So if you look. Down. I think this is an empty, bottomless cavern. But I think I can have my bird friend hold my tail. And I could try to get over here. And avoid it. But if I fall, then we'll see. Alright, cool. Alright, well, you know what? Let's go to the checkpoint. And I'm going to actually fall... And so let's see if we can start here again. Oh, 
And this is how I've died most times. It's just falling off the map. Okay, yeah, I think that we didn't lose any progress there. Okay, so what I, I need to do is I just need to come back to this checkpoint before I try anything dumb. Uh-oh. Village creatures. Of course, Snicky can go in water. Um... There's not a lot else happening here. It's just, it, I, I'm just very satisfied with the gameplay. Um, it's just a really neat idea to be controlling a snake and to have like this much control over it. You would think like it would like, you know, most games would just fake the controls, like just let you use the analog stick to move around. But no, you actually have to like think about the way the snake moves and and uh, like what its body is, is wrapped around in order to, like, make progress, and I think that's pretty, that's pretty interesting. Trying to, there we go. So you can see that green stone over there, I think there's the purple one right there, and the yellow one's kind of over there in the background. Uh, we'll collect those as we're also collecting the rest of the orbs. And maybe we'll get some coins as well. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get all five coins. It's been, it's been tough. Okay. Oh shit. All right. And we're gonna do a snake jump right here. Yeah. Sweet air. Oh, I wonder if you... Okay, so yeah, I should have used this, the um, birdie's like ability to hold me. Uh-oh. Okay, so like, getting up here, like, this is basically going to uh, require me to coil myself around all, each one of these levels. But, um, I find it hard to like actually stop pressing like the go button, like um, the right trigger. But the good thing is, you can almost just hit, like, there's a break button, that, that grip I was telling you about. Uh-oh. I've completely lost the thread here. I think we're okay. Hitting that grip button will basically bring you to a pause. So, you can always be hitting the uh, right trigger, and you'll, you'll still be okay. Okay, I think this is a chasm as well. I think I died there before, just because I just kept going. So, let's not do that this time. Try to wrap around. Get up here. You can't stop me. Whoa. Okay. Uh, let's look around. I think there's a coin up there. I think we can just do this. Um, you do also have to control the camera. It's not like an automatic camera, but I'm okay with that most of the time. Sometimes I forget that for some reason. I don't. I don't know why. So it just doesn't always feel like a, um, a 3D platformer, just because you're not really platforming. You're snaking. Oh, get up there! You can do it. You can do it, snake. You got to whip and then nay nay, nay nay. All right. Okay, so I think here's there's a coin down there uh, in, in the chasm, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go save real quick. We're gonna go to this checkpoint, and I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna just keep going until I can figure out how to do this coin. You guys will see what I mean here in a second. All right, making snicky progress. It's just he the way he moves is so satisfying. And I like I think he's actually pretty cute, his big eyes and kind of um 
uh, rounded face. He doesn't look like a, a gross reptile or anything. Not that I think reptiles are gross. I actually think most snakes are pretty cute, but this character's, this character's okay. I think most people are going to be perfectly all right with looking at him for long periods of time. So there's that coin, and I'm all I've done so far is just fallen off as I've tried. So I'm going to see if this bird can help me. No! Okay, the bird actually, I think, fucked me there. <laughs> that was bad. Because I was trying to wrap my tail around, and he was holding it up, and that was a problem. Okay, so let's let's try again. This time, the bird's not going to hold me. Snake in his way through the world today takes everything you got. No! Man! It's frustrating. Okay! So here we go. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm not gonna just keep doing this over and over. I just wanna see if we can... I just wanna see if I can figure it out. It's been frustrating me so far. I think it's just a matter of gripping properly. No! Hold my tail! God damn it, bird. Okay, I'm not gonna keep doing that. Let's just keep going. Let's uh, let's get everything else. So, I think we've gotten... Okay, I've gotten all three... Okay, so I'm just looking for one more blue orb. Uh, and maybe let's see if we can find the other coins. I do feel like blue orb's gonna be over here somewhere. If I coil around twice, that'll give me more chance to grip. No? I also wish he would, like, get longer. Um, like, having, like, a long snake. Almost like the game snake. Get it, you could do it. Get up there. Oh, wow. There's a coin way up there. Huh. Okay, I want to get that one for sure. But I want to look over here. Okay, that must be the start of the map. Oh, okay. Camera's being wonky. Uh, don't see any more blue orbs. Okay. Let's go get this coin way up there, and then if I can't find the blue orb from up there, we will just continue to the end of the map. Yeah, see, this is just... This is great. I love this. It just... Oh, there's the last blue orb. Okay. Okay. Great. 
So now, let's get this coin. And we won't worry about that. the rest of them. Uh -huh. This will be it. Wow. All right, cool. So now we just got those uh, like glowing streaks of light over there. That's where we're headed. We're going to do a snake jump again. Oh, I hit my head. Caused permanent brain damage. CTE. All right. Cool. So that, that does it now. I can just kind of hop into this little portal, and that's the end of the level. And that's like, that's Snake Pass. Uh oh. Superb. Cool. So, I mean, clearly, I think you're going to want to try to get everything just because that is the most satisfying way to play the game. But in general, just the basic gameplay of moving the snake, wrapping them around stuff, getting to higher platforms, uh, you know, through that process is super satisfying. I like it a lot. Uh, it's especially great in handheld mode. We can just kind of take it with you anywhere and you're playing this really neat platforming game uh, on the go. So yeah, that's it. That's Snake Pants on the Nintendo Switch. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll have more in the future. I'll catch you in the next video. Gamesbeat.com for more. Uh, Jeff Grubb. I'll see you then.